So you have already experimented with cheap acrylics. Now it's time to get yourself some good quality paints and to experiment with different mediums. So I'm gonna share with you my personal favorites from favorite colors to my favorite mediums. Let's get into it. First of all, you do not want to buy a big, huge set of 36 colors or 46 colors. It's very appealing to buy all of these colors so that you can try everything, but chances are you won't use half of them. And the best way to get really good at mixing colors is by using less, not more. So what I'm gonna recommend is get yourself a good set of primary colors. So even if you're a professional artist, you can still have some basic paints. Uh, these are Liquitex Basics, so they come in the big tubes. If you want to move on to better quality paints, I would suggest grabbing yourself some heavy body professional acrylics. So this set you can see comes in only four colors. These are your core primary colors. I would suggest getting this and then supplementing as you go. So now that you have your primary colors, let me suggest some colors that you can supplement with. Liquitex makes 105 different colors. Now you do not need 105 colors. This is overkill. Let me share my picks with you. So I'm just going to zoom in here. Look at all of these yellows. They're very, very similar. So, you know, you might have your cadmium yellow light or your yellow light Hansa. You can get any of these light yellows. Any of these will work for your primary. If you already have a primary yellow, you don't need any of these. Cadmium yellow, so the difference between cadmium free and cadmium is that cadmium is actually poisonous. So if you see something like a color and it says hue, then you know that it's a substitution of that chemical and it is probably safer and cheaper. So these are the colors that we're starting with, right? We have a magenta, we have a primary yellow, right? And we have our phthalo blue. Phthalo blue is one of my go-to colors because it makes a really beautiful green. But if you have a primary blue already, then you don't need it. I love ultramarine. So you'll see here that there's an ultramarine red shade and an ultramarine blue green shade. You have your phthalo blue or your primary blue, so you do not need a green shade. I would recommend getting a red shade. The red that I would get is probably your cadmium red light. It's a really nice color that's in between the yellow and the magenta. I typically don't buy any oranges or any of the tertiary colors that I can mix myself. You don't really need a purple because you should have the magenta or canacridone red. Ultramarine blue and magenta, when they mix together, they make a really beautiful, vibrant purple. But you can't really mix vibrant purples without a magenta because red actually has yellow in it. So you'll make very dull purples as a result. Generally, I skip the greens. The only green that I really like is hooker's green. I also like sap green. Both of these greens are a little bit more natural uh, because I paint a lot of landscapes, but you can skip the green altogether, okay? If you really, really want a green, these two are my recommendations. Dull colors, also known as earth tones, are a lot more affordable. They are great because they're very natural. The earth tones that I recommend are burnt sienna. Great for skin tones, great for landscapes, great for toning the canvas. It's one of the classical colors. The other color that I would recommend is a transparent yellow. This yellow is great for glazing because it's very, very clear. So you can transform and warm up your paintings instantly by using a transparent yellow. Yellow oxide is also a good color, but I actually prefer yellow ochre. So if you can get yourself a yellow ochre, you just need one or the other. I like the regular burnt umber, but burnt umber is one of my staples. Definitely a beautiful, beautiful color. Raw umber is also a really nice color. The difference between raw umber and burnt umber is that raw umber is more green-like 
and burnt umber is more red. Titanium white is a great white. You definitely want to stock up on your white because it's the color that goes the fastest. In terms of the neutral colors, I would skip them. When you mix all of your colors together, you're gonna get a grayish color anyway, so you don't need to buy grays. Now, there are a bunch of iridescent colors, and I would actually recommend getting an iridescent medium instead of iridescent colors because because an iridescent medium can turn any color into an iridescent color. If you really do want to get an iridescent, I would just get an iridescent silver, gold, and maybe a white. Okay, so for black, really any kind of black works, I would just go with an ivory black. As long as you keep your brushes clean and you buy good colors, you should be able to mix all of the colors just using your primaries. You can help support our mission to make art education easily accessible for everyone. Become a Wing Canvas member on Patreon or YouTube and get special perks like classes and critiques. So the really nice thing about acrylics is that you can mix it with so many different types of mediums to get all different kinds of effects. A medium is basically a type of clear acrylic paint having a matte medium will make paint more fluid, more transparent, and so you can use it for glazing. Another wonderful thing that you can use for matte medium is you can turn any surface into a paintable surface with acrylic. Sometimes these mediums also double as varnish, so you can get a matte medium varnish, you can also get a gloss medium varnish. This medium is very fluid. Mixing your acrylics with water, sometimes it doesn't stick as well. Plasticity of the paint sort of dissolves in water. So having a matte medium will make that paint more fluid, more transparent. So it's a great alternative to mixing paints with water. If you find that your paints dry on you really quickly, you can add what's called a retarder to your paint. Your paints will just stay wet for a lot longer, so it'll help you blend, especially when you're painting skin tones or you're painting a portrait and it seems like you have to mix the same color over and over and over again. A couple of drops will really extend the drying time of your acrylic paints. So generally speaking, uh, Liquitex is a pretty good brand. It's the brand that I use. Uh, Golden is another good professional brand for acrylic. So between Liquitex and Golden, even their basics line is better than other types of paint that are out there on the market. So this set comes with five different mediums. The first one is gesso, a very chalky, very thick white paint that will resurface any canvas that has been painted on before. So if you want to reuse your canvases, maybe you did a horribly ugly painting that you hope no one ever sees, then you can give it a light sand and give it a couple of coats of gesso and it's a brand new canvas. The second one is called a gloss gel medium. So there's lots of variations of gel medium, but gel medium is a thickener and a glue. So if you want to use collage or you want to thicken your paints, you want to build impasto, gel medium is a really, really good choice for that. The next one is called modeling paste. It's kind of the same thing as gloss medium, except it's matte. You would mix it to your paint to get it to have more of a sculptural look. So the next one is called iridescent medium. You can add it to all of your paints and suddenly you're gonna have an iridescent look to them. You can also kind of varnish your painting, so to speak, with an iridescent medium and suddenly everything has that shiny silver or gold look. The last one is called coarse texture medium. So a coarse texture medium basically has a uh, little pieces of textured sand or grain in it already. So when you paint with it or when you mix your paints with it, you can get kind of like a sandy texture. There are so many, so many different types of textured mediums. So this one is just one to get you started. They will help you be more creative and let you experiment more with your paints. So let me know how it goes and let me know in the comments if you have any others that you would recommend.
Join a virtual class in seconds and learn live from professional artists. Enjoy weekly assignments, individual guidance, and real-time feedback on your artwork so you can create like a fearless illustrator. If you learn something new, please like and share this with a fellow art nerd. If you love receiving quality and free arts education, subscribe. Here's a couple other videos you can check out next.